was geht. Grüße an die ganze Ayota Community von Tips and Labs. Yeah, ja, ja. Mayota. Das ist Mayota, das willst du auch haben? Das gibt es aber nicht bei Netto oder Kaufland. Such dir eine Gruppe Börse und klick drauf, Mann. Denk schon, nimmt die Fahrt Richtung Zukunft ihren Lauf, Mann. Aber nicht FTX, die sind weg. Welcome to Probably Nothing, the IOTA news of the last days. I'm Alexander and the song you just heard you can buy for only 69 Miyota on Sooniverse. With that you support Timson Labs. Here we go. Forbes.com writes about IOTA again on the 23rd of January. Positive is the mention of a big platform like Forbes.com. Negative, no word about Shimmer. Third party applications that already work. No mention of Firefly and and. Again, a copy-paste article like from other platforms. Marianne de la Roche had an interview at Blockchain Box. This little interview is about sustainability and how IOTA is involved here. She talked about your beginnings about working on climate monitoring with Canada and Europe to a net bar. On the same day, beincrypto.com named IOTA among the top five IoT companies. Helium, Ambroso, Swice and Autonomy are also mentioned among others. Blockbytes also has a summary about IOTA. This article is much better. It points out Shimmer, Firefly, the many partnerships. Here the established platforms give gladly take a leaf out of their book. Bfirst releases an update with major design changes. I would still like to know how many are using this wallet. Soonlabs published an article on Medium with lots of great updates. We already highlighted the first update with the OTR on Tangle Request in the last episode. It also mentions token-based voting, which will be launched in two till three weeks. Here it works similar to the Firefly wallet. Not the mass of tokens is important to prevent malicious actions, but the time you hold on the vote. The best part is that the tokens are still freely available and are not blocked. And when staking is enabled, nothing is disabled. In addition, the search functions is improved and many other little things that improve all of our lives. In the last episode, I already mentioned the great workflow on GitHub for those who think that IOTA Foundation does nothing. Some developers even ship on Saturday and Sunday. And also the Twitter account proof of GitHub shows the developer development clearly. It is being developed and it's been delivered. Satoshi Street Bets with 85,000 followers tweets that 2023 IOTA will pump properly. I am not a fan of speculation, but sometimes you can give a stage to such statements. Deeper Finance had its first AMA. In just under an hour and a half, they answer the most common questions. Later, they post that they are testing the Shimmer EVM and waiting for a new alpha, which was released last week. Dom answered a question about smart contracts on Discord. Of course, there is no exact date, but in the tests run for a few weeks without major problems, the whole thing will be released. Those who follow GitHub here as well will see the repositories. Right now, testing is in full swing. Rom found a cool video about it. Crypto Lulu, with just under 52,000 subscribers, made a video called IOTA is going to be a monster. That has been viewed just under 70,000 times. In 12 minutes, there is what feels like a hymn of praise of IOTA. Unfortunately, there is not a word about Shimmer, EVM or working solutions here either. It's mostly about the Internet of Things and how IOTA can monetize the world. Thanks for the video. Vault ID has also published a video where they introduce themselves, Epsi and a demo. The demo this time is different from the last video. Vault ID joins the best projects that IOTA has. This solution is one of the best we can show for the web free and it's general the future. On the 26th of January, they also released many updates in the newsletter, the wallet kit, SSI kit and web wallet. Biz Gen has published an article on how they are using IOTA in their Falco solution. The main argument here is that Europe also supports IOTA, paving the way for confidence and foresight in the future. I think that's a nice and important point they mentioned here. Let's move on to assembly and the new staking numbers. There has been 1 billion assembly distributed and there are 5 days left for this round. Don't worry for those who are new here. The next 90 day round will come after that and an announcement will follow. IOTA Origin announces that they are a finalist of the most exciting project of 2023 in ReFi Award. Congratulations! The winners were supposed to be announced on the 31st of January, but there was no official announcement of the Inatba site. 
the new stack writes about IOTA. IOTA distributed ledger beyond blockchain for supply chains. This is about supply with already known examples like Trademark East Africa, Stilla BD, interviewed was Jose Manuel Cantera, who already started at IOTA Foundation in 2020. A really detailed article with great perspectives. Spice5 and Soon Labs announced their partnership. Here what the partnerships looks like. Spice5 has been offering automated nodes that can be set up in minutes. There they can choose between different decentralized services and then simply use the Builderverse platform with all its modules. According to the article, both have access to different partners in the US and Europe, allowing them to offer their products to each other while creating new synergies. The Zoom token is also expected to be integrated. Speaking of Zoom token, want to get in or buy more? No problem, you can buy Zoom, IOTA, Shimmer, conventionally and easily at Bitforex. You can find the link below in the description. A new patent has been found, this time from Wanderer. It's about the devices and methods to stabilize the power grid by integrating private power storage devices via signaling grid conditions for emergency power and billing between the grid operator and the end user. The whole thing was filled by Butzer Carsten. Gold Standard also reports news. Unfortunately, the website is offline during recording and research. Matt also posted his excitement about it. Standardization and registries are to be merged into APIs and made more accessible to all. Touchpoint welcomes a new partner, Loyal. Loyal is currently on almost every episode. Great to have them on Touchpoint now too. It's been a while since we've had an official blog post from the IOTA Foundation. On 27th of January, it published IOTA enters next phase of EU blockchain PCP. With these, IOTA reached the finals. Phase 2A has been survived and Phase 2B will follow. There are three finalists besides IOTA. Cromway, AB and Billion SBZOO. Hmm. This phase will last 12 months. In phase 2b, the prototypes will be developed and tested under real conditions. Jele Milena commented on this issue as many members of the community have interpreted or misunderstood too much. You can't win the final. It's more about funding, research and finding a European solution. This also means that the EU will end up using Bitcoin for their proposal as well, curtly put. The finalists will only get more money, more research for possible partners and collaborations. In other words, they are three winners. EPSI started in 2019. Landex will conduct an IEO, Initial Exchange Offering, on LaToken and P2B crypto exchange at a cheaper price. However, those who participated in the public sale should not fret. The purchase tokens will be revolved at two and a half times their value, so you will get more than you bought. So things should be fair, according to the team. But seed. Private sale and NFT buys will also be compensated. The platform is scheduled to launch with Ethereum in February, with Shimmer following as soon as possible. Michelle Nati is leaving the IOTA Foundation, but will continue to support the IOTA community. Thank you for being part of it. On the 30th of January, Wanderer found another patent from ETO Magnetic GmbH describing a multifunction shield with two sensor units that can be used for surveillance and or distance determination. Examples mentioned are fares, museums showing the direction, but also an integrated per wallet. When is this Shima AVM actually coming? Dave has provided some clarity on Twitter. In short, the alpha is already released, it will be tested and then improved. Then the improvements will be tested and further refined. If you follow GitHub, you'll see that right now it feels like it's just testing. When all testing is done to full satisfaction, it will be released. On the 31st of January, Alpha 5 of version 040 was released. So we are getting close to the finish line. Tangle Gang did a cool interview with Jonas Thais from the Go Shimmer team. However, you have to bring a lot of time, 3 hours to be exact. The interview is only in German. Loyal has released the beta of their app for Android and iOS. If you want to take a look and find some bugs, you can do it now. Looks very promising. The Audit 1 team tweets, 
that the integration of Sooniverse is almost complete. This will soon make it possible to verify users, for example via KYC, social media profiles, NFT or security audit. MPC, presented by Garrett Jin, has its validators. You have voted and here are the chosen ones. Soonlabs, Spice5, ShimmerC, TangleSwap, DLT Green and ShimmerGov. Congratulations! Since everything is ready according to the old tweets, testing should start soon. That's it for this episode. Thanks for watching, for the support and until next time, do well. Bye bye.